Mike John. Yes, I do. Um, there's about three things I want to talk about. The first one is curbside. And I know you all are you're thinking about you know, what the uh, is going to be in the future for curbside. My wife and I built a, had a house built down here in around 2008. It was right around that time, if I remember correctly, the curbside ordinance was passed. And I, I was told that we had, we had our house built. I called called the courthouse down here and talked to different people. And they said, well, we haven't moved, moved here. We still haven't moved here yet. We're living in Gwinnett County. The, the housing market has just completely hit the fan. And I'm, I'm determined I'm not going to give our house away. So we're paying taxes on the house down here, too. And we're paying curbside. We were originally told, told that that if you weren't living in the, in, in the house, you wouldn't have to pay, pay for a curbside service. And come to find out over, over a period of about a month or, or maybe longer, we found out that the way the order was written, if you have electricity going, going to a house, you still have to pay curbside. And Alan Cox and Mary Patrick was on, on the board when we tried to get something done, and Alan actually came up with a solution to the problem. And when the vote came out, it was three commissioners against and Alan and Mary, Mary to try to solve the problem. And there is no reason in the world that it can't be amended where if, if you're not living in a structure that you, you shouldn't be required to have garbage pickup, they deliver our garbage in and it sits in our garage and I mean, it ticks me off every time I see it. And we talked to, talked to our commissioner, Mr. Luke, last fall and he said, I understand, he said that he didn't think he could do anything and that's he can do something about it. You commissioners can do something about it. All you have to do is put an amendment with with the ordinance where the people who don't live in, in in their house will have to pay for garbage pickup. And I don't want to say any more about it. But 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 uh, the next thing the thing I want to talk about is see, click, and fix the application. And in, in a before. I'll see an item on the agenda, and then I'll, I'll want to come out here and speak about it. And when I get here, well, we're not talking about that tonight, so he did it to me again. But, you know, it's what else is new. But, but, did it to me too. <laughs> but, but we do not, we do not, do not need to spend six thousand dollars. In fact, we don't need to spend any money on that application. I mean, it's completely simple. You can correct if you have a. a, a problem with a road or a pothole or gravel or whatever, you can directly call Public Works. You can fax Public Works. You can email Public Works. You can fill out a work order online to get the work work done. And if all that, if you want to, you can even supposedly call your commissioner and get done what you want done. We do not need to be spending any money, period, whatsoever on, a, on an application that we don't need. And, and instead, we need to take that money and, you know, the people that live on dirt roads and east of gravel or whatever. I wanted to talk some more, but... Yeah. <laughs>